A friend of mine called me today asking me to pray for him concerning an ongoing issue that he's been grappling with for months now. And after we prayed, um, the conversation that transpired really motivated me to want to come up on here to give a PSA about prayer and understanding how prayer works. You see, if you want to change things that are behavioral in origin, you're going to need more than just prayer. For example, if you struggle with alcoholism or drug abuse, heck, even anger management, and you ask your friends and family, please pray for me, pray that this is, that I can get better in this, pray that I won't struggle with these urges anymore. I will zip my mouth when it's necessary. You can have your whole family, extended family, friends, neighbors, praying for you that this problem in your life will disappear, but that's not going to just magically make your problems disappear. You see, there's a huge misconception that prayer is like waving a magical spiritual wand you know, over your body or over your life. And whatever problems that you're going through the day before the prayer is just going to automatically just disappear overnight. That's not how, that's not how prayer works. You see, prayer starts with you. Prayer starts with you. It, it, it starts with a change in mindset, a change in character, you know, enforcing discipline and consistency into your lifestyle and making it, yeah, making it a lifestyle. And the prayer is like the condiments to the ice cream. It makes everything taste good. It, 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 it packages what you're trying to work for, if I'm making sense. It, you don't go to an ice cream parlor and just get a, a, a medium bowl of sprinkles. No, the ice cream, the meat and potatoes, that's on you. That's on you to change. The prayer is gonna help you. It's a boost, it's a kick. It's not the main entree. You see, God gives us free will. We can wake up and do whatever, the, whatever we want to do. We can choose to live in his word or we can choose to live like our neighbors. It's up to us. He lets us make mistakes constantly. You know, he, he forces us to go through life and grow through our mistakes and our own understanding of ourselves in order to be better. We're not going to get a, a pick-me-up from, from people who are praying over our lives and then just expect us to not put, up, put in any type of work at all. That, that's not realistic. If you want prayer to be substantive, you need to do the work first. You need to lead that charge in your life and say enough is enough. Today is a new day a new attitude, a new lifestyle for me. And I'm no longer looking back. I'm only looking forward. And if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it by any means necessary. And I'm going to hold myself accountable always. And I'm going to accept and receive prayer, but I'm not going to rely on prayer. Thank you.